Boy, look at me now. Back in January, when I walked into the funeral home for Jake Rosenberg's funeral, I didn't know that this would be the year that I would say goodbye to the last of my dear old friends. At Jake's funeral, I was sitting there with my remaining Lodge brothers, Milton Berg, Harry Cooperstein, Louis Lefkowitz, Herman Nadler, and Benny Silverstein. A month later, it was Benny's funeral. Benny and I met in 1967, when we both joined the Knights of King Saul, a Jewish fraternal organization. Our lodge did charity work and offered cemetery plots to the members and their families. Those plots were filling up fast now. After Benny, it was Milton's turn. He passed away in March, followed by Herman in April. My lodge brothers were disappearing on me. Every time the phone rang, I was afraid it was more bad news. July came along, and with it, Harry Cooperstein's funeral. Harry and I shared an art studio together in the 1970s. It eventually became a successful graphic arts business. In August, it was Louis' funeral. Back in the day, Louis and I were unbeatable in doubles handball. You know, my wife passed away five years ago, and now with my closest friends gone, my life more than ever seemed empty and lonely, and I couldn't stop thinking about days gone by. So I started this drawing of a large reunion we had years ago. It was a way of keeping my friends alive. As I drew these faces, I started to cry, and that's when I decided to go downstairs for a box of tissues but my foot slipped on the top step, and I fell hard down the flight of stairs, shattering my hip. Six months of rehab in four different facilities, and now my kids set me up here in this independent living place. Yeah, my kids stop by to visit every so often, and they bring me food and chit-chat for a little while, and they keep promising to hang my paintings on the wall. But my days are empty, and I'm so bored so I decided to finally finish this drawing that I started months ago. Thanks to my lodge, I know I have a cemetery plot waiting for me when my time comes. But I'm not rushing to get there. I still have things to look forward to. Like my granddaughter's wedding next year. She made me promise to dance with her, and that's a promise I'm going to keep. <laughs>